Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorial Channel. I'm your host, Larry, and we're back here today to talk about how you can create your very own holographic projector at home using just a few spare craft supplies and your smartphone and or tablet. And what you're going to need for this particular project is a pen, some paper, I prefer graph paper because we're going to be drawing some basic geometric shapes, a ruler, about four to six old CD cases, some tape or glue, whichever you prefer to use when gluing or sticking together some plastic, and a Sharpie to draw on the surface of the CD case's lids. So the first thing you're going to want to do is draw out the stencil that we're going to use to make the four sides of what is essentially an inverted pyramid with the top chopped off. So the top of this is going to be about three-fourths inches wide, two inches tall, and the base is three inches wide at the bottom. Once you've got that all traced out and you've got the two sides traced, so it makes almost like a pyramid or a triangle, go ahead and cut that out so that we can use it as a stencil for tracing on top of each of the lids from our CD case. Now, depending on what type of CD cases you have, I've got some old CD protectors that are sitting in stacks in my closet, you might have really tall edges on the side. So the first thing you're probably going to want to do is either with your hands, maybe putting on some gloves in case of sharp edges, or with a plier, go ahead and pop off any big edges that you might have, and you can start tracing and cutting this out. So all you got to do, just trace out that basic rhombus shape that we just created, and start cutting this shape out of your plastic. Now, if you're not very patient like your friend Larry, you can just go ahead and start cutting this out with your pair of scissors. And don't really worry, it shouldn't crack or shatter too much, and it should be more than enough to show you the really cool hologram, especially if you're doing this with, say, your kids on the weekend. If you want something that looks a little bit more professional, or something that you might be able to reuse more than once, you can go ahead and grab something like my pocket knife and just start scoring each of the edges carefully and slowly until you have managed to cut most of the way through the plastic. And then you can just bend it to pop each of the edges out of the CD cover so that you can begin to glue or tape them together. Once you've got the four pieces cut out of the plastic, go ahead and put them together in the shape of a little pyramid. Just tape together each of the edges and try to make it so that when you set it on its head that it does not fall flat into some type of pancake shape. After that's over, you're more or less good to go. You just need to do one last thing. Go ahead and grab your smartphone or your tablet, go to YouTube and look up a video called a four-way holographic video. And these videos are designed so that they have four equal parts that are the same piece of video mirrored that are going to project up onto this little pyramid and create a moving holographic shape in the center that looks more or less three-dimensional. Find the video that looks good. I just recommend grabbing whatever is at the top of the list because there can be some weird results in there. Just fair warning. And open it up and watch it play. I recommend watching this in a pitch dark room if possible. Just set it down on the tablet, press play, and then look at the side of your little pyramid once it's inverted. And sometimes you might need to up the brightness of your display, or maybe give the surfaces of your plastic a little bit of a wipe, because I know mine got a few fingerprints on them while I was in the process of getting them all glued together. Once you've done all of that, it should be a pretty interesting show and a really fun thing to share with your friends, with your spouse, and especially if you have kids, this can be a really great project to showcase to them the wonders of science and the moving image. So I hope you found this to be a fun and educational craft video. It's not very complex and doesn't require a whole heck of a lot of materials. And if you have any questions, comments, or other notes that you'd like to leave me, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And until next time, I've been your pal Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.